G'day YouTube, a bit of a different one today. We're inside the house in the dining room here. And you see it's windy out outside today. It is ragingly hot. It's hit 46 degrees Celsius in the sun uh, a little bit earlier, which is just not comfortable, not fun. And one of the reasons why I've uh, been working on this latest project, you can see the greenhouse in the corner there. It's still holding at 28 degrees Celsius in the greenhouse with the air conditioning, which I'm so thankful for because I don't know how the plants would be coping without it, especially my Highlanders and Ultra Highlanders. But due to space in the greenhouse running out, I thought it's time to move some plants out of the greenhouse. And so I've this. So this is an old cafe drinks fridge that I've converted into a, I call it a Highland chamber. You can see there the fogger, it's just a small reptile fogger with the hose running up. I still need to just tidy up some of these cables and figure out where I'm gonna run this except and everything, but yeah, so we've got this, well the, the fogger's running off Inkbird thermostat, oh, sorry, hydrometer there, which always looks a bit strange with the numbers in uh, on the camera, but it doesn't look like that in real life. It is solid numbers. So it is holding at nice 83% humidity. Uh, having no problems keeping the humidity up in this, even when the fridge is running. Um, I don't think it's actually currently running. I think it's on its warm up mode at the moment. And then over here, we've got the, the Inkbird uh, thermostat again, which is absolutely driving me up the wall, this one. It will not connect to my, my phone, which I think is actually due to our home internet just having major problems at the moment. Uh, so once, once we get that sorted, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can connect this up and I can run it all off the smart controllers, but at the moment, I'm gonna to have to manually change the temperature uh, at night and in the morning. So I've got it set to 26 degrees. That's up, the sensor's up on the top shelf here. I did, I might throw the thermometer back in there while I'm thinking of it. But I did have a thermometer down the bottom. Uh, there is uh, quite a, a difference in um, uh, in temperature, top shelf to bottom shelf, I think it was about four or five degrees without the fans, but maybe about three degrees with the fans. So the bottom shelf shouldn't be much above uh, 23 degrees, maybe 24. And then I'll have this dropping down to probably 14 degrees at night. Uh, again, on the top, uh, the bottom of the top shelf. So that should. Uh, should keep the Ultra Highlanders a, a bit lower than that, hopefully closer to that 10 degree range uh, for the Veloces and Aristolacoides and Dyatis and a few others. I'm having to go back through my uh, species and remind myself what which one, what I have that uh, does sit in that Ultra Highland range. So you can see the fogger kicking back on there. I do have when when the temp the uh, fridge is running the temperature the, the humidity sorry does drop a bit it seems to drop down to about seventy percent from eighty uh, but it's only for a couple of minutes and the uh, humidifier boosts it up from there so if we come in and have a look so I've set up each shelf there you go it's twenty eight degrees top of the shelf top of the fridge at the moment and 26 down on the bottom shelf so each shelf has one of these clear plastic trays uh, full of uh, egg crate diffuser used for lighting or aquariums stuff like that uh, so these will have I'm going to try and fill these with live sphagnum and the plants will be potted bet between and the live bag should it also help with the humidity. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to make it out, but in the back corner, I did drill a drainage hole in each tray. The top one I managed to attach a uh, 
little downpipe that drains into that tray so it's not dripping on the lights. Uh, but eventually that all drips down to the bottom of the fridge, which runs away and there's a drain port in that corner, which I've just connected a bit of pipe to that, will, that runs out through the floor and drains any excess water to outside. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is I do have fans set up on each shelf. I might set that towards myself because it's actually really nice. Uh, they're just small USB fans. I might try find something a bit more water resistant. I probably should. Um, but I couldn't find anything great that was small and had uh, some controls on it. This isn't much, but there's just three settings. So I can improve that. Looks super slow on camera, but it is on full speed there. And it is actually blasting away. So the airflow is super important, particularly in a closed uh, environment like this uh, for the plants. I'm, and I also may end up moving these up uh, the cords, I've sort of cable tied a lot of these up. Probably need to tighten them up and finish that off, but it's not super important right now. I may end up setting the, uh, the fans up in the corner here, but we'll just sort of see how it all plays out once I get the plants in, which I'm hoping to do today. Uh, just not enjoying the idea of walking outside in the, in the heat right now. Uh, you'll also notice each each uh, shelf has a, uh, a Mars Hydro, the TS1000. Again, I'm not not paid or anything by these guys. I just really rate these lights. Now they are massively overpowered for what I need, what I want. But the dimmable function on these is uh, is fantastic. You can see it full bore there. It's insanely bright. Uh, so yes they are overpowered but I've got full control of how much light uh, I can I can use for them we'll also notice this this light I set off to one side which is going to drive my OCD and everyone else is insane but I opted for that so I had at least one small section here that I can allow taller plants and less light loving plants like my hamadas things like that. I may even cut through the top shelf here and allow things to vine up into the next shelf up. But we'll just have to see how things grow. Not too many of my uh, true Highlanders are at that stage yet. Uh, for the humidifier, I just drilled a, uh, drilled a hole through the wall. Oh, got the fridge alarm going off. Is the door open? <laughs> And I've actually, I've just put this little bit of a hose in there. I do, I want to get something a bit longer and the right size just to stop the um, insulation getting full of moisture and possibly going mouldy. But I'll work on that shortly. And yeah, I think that's everything I can show for the setup. I've obviously got timers for the lights. Uh, which runs the next power board up here. So I've just double sided taped the power boards to the side of the fridge and same with the thermostat. Um, I definitely want to tidy these wires up a bit more but for now I can get the plants in and I can start enjoying uh, So I might leave that leave that there for this video and or I may end up reshooting this afternoon with the um, once I get the plants in and you can have a look at how everything's set up. Great, cheers, bye. All right, we're back. The, uh, packing the plants into the fridge took a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh, there's a lot of dead pictures and leaves that need to be trimmed out. Uh, pulled out a lot of weird crappy mosses that I didn't want growing in the pots uh, to leave the live sphagnum moss there. Uh, but I've got everything in, got some live moss situated in which should start growing in nicely soon. Yeah, it's a much more pleasant day here now. It's uh, 22 degrees this morning and not shaping up to be as stinking hot as it was yesterday, thank God. But, so, zoom out. 
So it's all situated into the three different shelves. Uh, there is definitely a, a variation in the temperatures as you come down. Uh, I've got setting it to 14 at night, which is up on this level. Uh, you get a couple of degrees cooler down here, and then down here is hitting 10 degrees at night and sitting there nicely. So I've situated that as sort of my ultra highland shelf, though a couple of plants probably don't fall into that category as much. And your more basic level highlanders and coming up, these are a bit more warm tolerant, but still highland plants. Uh, but mostly just because this ended up being my larger plant section for the most part. See, there's still a few small seedling so type stuff in there. I also see I've uh, changed the angle of the fans so they actually face upwards. And that's to uh, push the humidity that comes in at this level. And the idea is it can blow it up and the humidity actually can rise up to here. I've got the sensor up the top there. The, uh, the fridge itself extracts uh, humidity through that fan there. So it should draw the humidity all the way through the green, oh, not the greenhouse, the grow fridge and keep it pretty stable. Um, I have also, I've slipped a heat mat under this bottom shelf uh, just just about 10 minutes ago, so it's probably still just warming up. But now that it's not 40 degrees outside, uh, it wasn't really warming up as fast as I'd hoped. I've had this on, had the lights on for a good few hours now, and it's only up to 22 degrees. Now the heat, I might not need the heat mat. Um, I may test it without it. Uh, once summer comes in, but I dare say winter I might need it uh, permanently as the days can be as low as 15 degrees and this fridge does seem to hold that cooler temperature quite well. So we'll go in for a look. Uh, so you can see my nice big jam band there which is starting to wind around. Uh, Jacqueline there which is getting some size to it. Uh, that's got a bit of light stress from when I moved it before. Uh, there's a nice Taliansis hiding in here. Uh, yeah, there it is there. Uh, Lingulata, which is a yeah, little ling little tongue on that one. But if I can get to it, yeah, this big one. It's, for, it's trickier filming in a small space. There you go, you can see the, the nice ling on that one. Um, my Attenborei at the back there, which has been struggling for a while. I recently repotted it, so we'll see. Hopefully that's all it was. The roots looked good and healthy. Uh, no signs of pests, a bit of light damage on the leaves. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will, uh, will settle it in quickly. I've set all the lights, I see this one's almost at the minimum there. As I said, these are well overpowered, but for the dimmable feature and still being a very good grow light was the reason I chose them. And it's going to save on running costs if they're not running at full full throttle. Uh, this is actually a, a couple of customers' plants. Yeah, uh, or a friend of mine, he got some plants sent to, or oh, I picked up some plants for him and uh, he bought this lowly eye off me. A nice little jam band. He's going to come up from Tasmania and pick them up shortly, along with a bunch more plants in the greenhouse I have for him. Now, anything I missed up there? A oh, nice little Edward Siana settled in nicely, getting a nice leaf jump. And a really nice uh, Stunophila is in there. I've actually got a big one of them growing in the backyard, so that I don't think that really needs to be in the fridge, but it is for now. There you can see here my, my nice Hamada. It's just, looks like it's just starting to vine now, which is nice. It, I think it was a bit of heat stress. We've had some really hot days recently, so unfortunately this picture looks like it's popped early, but um, hopefully 
it'll settle in quickly from here. Uh, you can see my my biggest lowly eye at the back there. A few pictures starting to fade, but there's a nice big one coming there. Yeah, doesn't want to focus too well. Another couple of small lingulatas. Yeah, some more. Another my uh, my multi point lowly eye hiding back in there. Some flavors. Unfortunately, my uh, my big one is going to have to stay out in the greenhouse and hopefully deals with the warmer temperatures all right because it's taller, already taller than the fridge, so it's definitely not fitting in here. Uh, nice lowly eye there as well. Uh, Poloensis, which unfortunately uh, fell off the shelf. Thankfully, only a short fall, but broke the, uh, the newest leaf. But it looks like the next one's fine. My mollus. And as you can see, the live moss. I've tried to put it all between the pots. Uh, so hopefully that'll grow in. The humidity in here is holding pretty well at uh, 90%, which is actually uh, a lot higher than I wanted. I was going to drop it down 80, maybe even 70%. We'll see if I can tweak a few things and make that work. Uh, so down here in the ultra highland section, Jacket Lineo, which doesn't doesn't fall into the ultra highland category, but it's where the plant fits, so we'll see how it goes there. If anything doesn't seem to love it where I've uh, I've situated, I I can always move things around and figure out the best spot for everything. A nice little uh, seed growing velosa there. Starting to show some teeth and a nice picture jump. It's settled in nicely. Yeah, some Trasmodiensis. Nice little picture coming there. Inimus. And then behind that is a nice smaller Raja. Unfortunately got, got damaged, but uh, it's coming back strongly. Yeah, some my Aristolacoides section. There's a nice little Raja picture hiding back down there. And I just absolutely love these Aristos. See this one's super squat. Oop. And full of uh, full of something. And they should just drop down and up and be picturing in this moss once it kicks in. Some nice uh reddish reddish moss I'm not going to call it full red but under good light this does get a lot more red you can see the same one there in the blosa but it's a lot slower growing than my um and small and compact then you can see the uh my bigger green variety there so I'm really liking it for a uh, small slow growing plants so I don't need to trim it off as much uh, so I'm trying to trying to get a lot of that propagated so I can start spreading it around stuff like um lowly eyes and any small highlanders um, will really appreciate the slower moss and I just keep it a bit more controlled. So yeah, so that's it. As always, if you've got any questions on how I did anything, feel free to ask and uh, hit the subscribe button and like to all the support and helps. And I'll keep you guys updated in future videos and we'll see how this this fridge works out. Cheers. Yeah.